Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, good. Uh, good. My name's Joe. Your name's Islam? Yeah, Islam. Oh, okay. Marhaba. Marhaba. <laughs> so you know a little Arabic? <laughs> uh, swear, swear. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. So are you familiar to Assalamu Alaikum? Uh, I know it, but I'm not Muslim, so I, I tend to just use Maha. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, your name is? My name is Joe. My name is Joe. So Joe. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, I... uh, 20, 20 years ago, I lived in Benghazi in Libya. You have been where? Benghazi in Libya. Benghazi in Libya? Yeah. I was there for three yeah. years. For three years? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you're in Egypt. Where, where, whereabouts? Whereabouts in Egypt? Uh, okay. Uh, do you know? Are you familiar to Mansoura? No, I've, I've got. I'll be honest. The two places I know are Cairo and uh, Alexandria. Alexandria, yeah. Yeah, Alexandria uh, is beautiful. Uh, really nice. You have been there? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was beautiful. It was wow. Really nice. But it's 20, 20 years ago. Twenty years ago. Well, yeah. I'm not sure if the audio is perfectly working well. I guess it's lower. I can hear you okay. I can hear you fine. Yeah, now it's much better. Yeah. Okay then. All right then. Uh, well, my name's Joe. I'm from I'm from England, but I'm living now in uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah, in Asia. Uh, I've been here seventeen years. Seventeen oh, years. Yeah. It's good. It's a long time. Yeah, but it's good. I, I, mean, I got since I came here, I got married, and now I've got a family, and uh, it's a good place to live. It's nice. Really? Yeah. So what what do you I do? Have... Is, what do you do, Islam? I teach English. You teach? Oh, okay. All right then. Yeah, I was going to say you, you speak English very. You seem very comfortable speaking English. Okay. Thanks for that. So what do you do at Vietnam? So I since teach. you have been there seventeen years. Teaching, that's what I do. Teaching too. Yeah, I, I'm a teacher. I've been teaching since. Uh, I, I. It was funny because after Libya, I I worked in uh, document control in Libya, but I I, I ended up as the trainer. Mm. And so I was training the local staff how to sort of operate this system and everything, and I found I was enjoying that more. And so when I left Libya, I actually went to uh, Czech Republic. And I did my teaching certificate, and then I came out to Asia. Wow, and you have been a long journey. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have. But I've, I think I've found home, finally. Uh, um, I like where I, I am. I guess back a place, uh, maybe it's full of nature? Full of what, sorry? Nature, yes. Landscapes? Oh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a very natural, yeah, it's a very beautiful place. Uh, wow. Though I live, in, I live in the biggest city, but I live... Uh, 16 or 17 kilometers from the city center. So where I live is still kind of semi-farmland. There are mm. there are sort of coconut trees outside my house. There's a, 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 so dairy, a dairy what farm. Is, what is name is special? Uh, I think basically, because like I said, I met my wife here. My wife is yeah, Vietnamese. Family, wife of is Vietnamese. family comes first. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, and it's funny because I, I think there's so many parallels with uh, Arabic and Asian cultures. They're very similar. Uh, mm -hmm. Family is always really important. I mean, coming from Western Europe, family family means nothing these days. Uh, yeah. Whereas in, in, the, in here, and, and I know in Arabic countries as well. Where, whereas in the Middle East and the East, generally, yeah, family is a big thing it's, in our life. It's yeah. number one, yeah, sure. Yeah, you can spread you it's just the idea of being by yourself and living for a long year, just build your own life, seek for to be or not to be. Hmm. Yeah, we can do this, but with our family, within a family. Yeah, family, family ties yeah. are strong. Yeah. Yeah, they're very important. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so how how long have you been a teacher? Uh, about seven, eight years. Okay. I'm and, <laughs> and what what age age range do you teach? Uh, actually, I teach intermediate and high school students learners. Okay. All right. I've, and I've... I do videos too on YouTube. I I make videos for teaching on YouTube. Okay. All right. And uh, so. 
I've, I've got to ask you this because again, one of the things, one of the problems in Vietnam is the class sizes are too big. You get so many uh, people. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't hear this well. I said one of the problems in Asia is uh, in Vietnam. Anyways, the class sizes are too big. Yeah. So class size yeah. as a, as a class. Yeah, like fifty students in a high school class is normal. <laughs> too I'm many. Serious. Too many, yeah. So, so what? So what I find is you get, and same for China as well. Because I, I talk to a lot of Chinese, I talk to a lot of Arabs, Arabs on Cambly as well, yeah. and uh, so many people either, you know, learn grammar, learn vocabulary, but just don't get practice, don't get a chance to actually speak. Uh, yeah, actually, and, yeah. You are reminding me with the term uh, TTT and STT, uh, teachers uh, talking time and students talking time. <laughs> Should I shut up? <laughs> yeah, um, I was. Uh, we have here. I actually I work in Kuwait. I teach English in Kuwait. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, uh, we have the same issue, by the way, in Egypt. The number of students or learners in the same class, uh, it's too big there that you can contain control to uh, the the way you teaching there. You you just can make sure that all your learners are receiving the the information in a nice way, in a good way. Well, yeah, but that's yeah. the thing, though, but then there's no opportunity for, there's not much opportunity for actual practice. And that's, yeah. that's, that's where it falls apart here. People come, English, out, yeah. people come out knowing, you know, they come out knowing English, but they don't get a chance to actually use it. Uh, you know, actually, I have uh, graduated from uh, university and my level in English right now, let's say, uh, I was nothing before. Right, okay. I can speak the language fluently. All what I have reached right now, by self-study. I have right. practiced listening to songs, reading books, listening to movies, and writing these movies. Uh, think about listening to a movie on your computer, and I have my notebook writing the whole film, the whole movie. The script. Even the dialogue. The titles. Wow, okay. You must be good at notes then. Better than me. Yeah. Okay. I have a lot, but so, I, I can see that I have a different. I'm a different man than rather than before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I think I could speak the language more fluently with more accuracy than before. Hmm. Let's say I'm trying to reach a level of a native speaker. Of course, I'm not going to be like natives, but I'm trying to be a good one, a good model for my students, for my learners to take after. You know. So, what are the class sizes in Kuwait then? I'm just curious. Let's say uh, at my at my school, twenty eight maximum. Okay. Uh, twenty. Okay, I that's, guess that's that's pretty good. Yeah. That's fair. Is that, is, that a private, is that a private school or a state school? Uh, actually, this is private school. Okay. Uh, but uh, more state school, uh, I have heard from some students. They uh, they have exceeded forty learners at the wow. same class. Yeah, that's a problem. Which is really confusing. How how come the the state could accept this situation? You know. It depends if the state cares about the future. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. It is. Uh, it's like university. I mean, I was talking about somebody to somebody about this uh, the other day. I was doing an IELTS lesson with them, and we were talking about like. Uh, the cost of university education and the mm. fact that there are still some sort of quite progressive countries where they will actually you know university education will be free and in a way um, in, a, in a way it's an investment in the next generation i think it's a good i think it's a really good thing uh, it's guaranteed here and ob obligated for all parents to teach their children of course to high school but uh, the matter of university degree and stuff like this, let's say it's quite different these days. Before it was kind of free and the government make it easy for, for learners to learn. But right now I can see that there is big difference because they are moving to make it more costly, you know? Yeah. So... Only you can that, for, for me, that's. I mean, if you look at England now, it's it's, it's almost like it's gone back a hundred years 
so that the the children of the wealthy will get educated and the rest and the rest won't unless they're prepared so, to sort of take a huge debt you know it's really interesting that you have uh, evoked this so are you with are you for or against learning in university for is it do you think that um everyone should yes. be yes, I do. Yeah. yeah if well I'm with with i mean with some provisos i mean there should definitely be a sort of a, a, an entry level sort of ability you know if, if you're stupid then yeah don't waste your time at university i'm not uh, talking about this i'm talking about uh, some poor people some poor uh, learners they have yeah they are good hmm. they are good enough hmm. to be qualified they yeah. we can see them the future the bright future but they don't have enough money to be educated yeah. in this in this field or uh, that to me that to me is tragic it's a waste yeah you have used the right word it's real tragic, tragic. yeah it is it's, yeah. Uh, it's and it's i don't know to me it's kind of morally wrong as well i mean the uk for example they only bought in uh they only bought in tuition fees a little over 20 years ago it was always free and so it's free. And it, no it was But surprisingly, it was surprisingly it was a Labour government that bought it in. You know, uh, I have been talking to a tour from uh, England, and uh, I, I love him because he he is a fan of the language and he seeks knowledge. And I I learned from I learned from him a lot. Yeah. Uh, once I have asked him, uh, from which university have you graduated from? And he told me I didn't continue my education. I just uh, just high school is adequate for me, it's suitable for me. But it would, I guess, it would make difference for you to, to be educated, getting a degree from university. And he told me, what a piece of paper could help me in the future. So just your degree in that. And he said that I can gain money well right now with my. high school degree and I could do any job I could uh, I think do you think this is this is um, a correct decision uh, it depends I mean I don't know how old the guy is you're talking to uh, I I think, he's I, too young he's about uh, 22 23 uh, well I think really I mean I think really these days it's more and more important uh, that you do get a degree I mean My, I, I never finished my degree. I mean, the, the, the actual local authority pulled the funding for the course I was doing mm. because it was considered too, too sort of, uh, what's the word, too left-wing. Um, left-wing? Yeah, it was polit political. <laughs> yeah, they pulled, they pulled the funding because they said it was too sort of, uh, they, they claimed it was Marxist, but I, I, did, I disagree. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, but they pulled the, they pulled the funding. Straight. Uh, And again, that was a Man that was a that was in Manchester, and that was a Labour council as well that they pulled the funding. Um, wow! But yeah, I think I think in these this these day and age, people, you know, without it's a sad situation is that you you know unless you're very sort of out there and you're a go getter that kind of person, then you need the degree just to get you into the inter into the interview situation. Yes. Yeah. Um, to be better, to be in a better situation. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry, Islam. We're, we're kind of running out of time. Uh, but nice talking to you. It was an interesting chat. Of course. Uh, may I ask you if it's possible to upload this episode on, uh, on YouTube? Uh, if you want to, oh. but I would send me a link and let me see it. Yeah.